What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. To my members and new members, welcome. Make sure to hit that subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on this channel as we put Star Wars content out every single day and do live streams every single Sunday, which is today, for certain places in the world. Today, we're going to be talking about the Bad Batch. Now, we know Star Wars The Clone Wars established the truth behind the clones turning on the Jedi Order 66 inhibitor chips that left them unable to refute their orders. Now, the Bad Batch has since explored the ramifications of these inhibitor chips being used on the clones, but a new Star Wars story has explored the greater impact of the chips themselves and how they were used on others. Star Wars is the Secrets of the Wookiees by Mark Sumark has revealed the Empire has also used inhibitor chips on the Wookiees, attempting to keep them from overthrowing their Imperial warlords on Kashyyyk by causing them immense pain when remotely activated. While this is a phenomenon seen before the Aftermath trilogy, this story takes place long before then, trying it even closer to the era of the Bad Batch. Now, the Bad Batch Season 2, Episode 6, Tribe takes Clone Force 99 to Kashyyyk, where they help Gunji and the Wookiees defend themselves from the Trandoshans and the Empire. These deep ties the Bad Batch has now to Kashyyyk may bring them back to the planet once again in Season 3 and back to Gunji. This return could also mean exploring the inhibitor chips being used on the Wookiees, as it would also tie in with the series long thread of decommissioning of the clones and the inhibitor chips controlling their behavior. Should the Bad Batch help in some way with that, Gunji may come with them to help rescue Omega, seeing as the two young heroes have already become friends. Either way, a return to Kashyyyk in Season 3 of The Bad Batch would no doubt be devastating for sure. From the absence of Omega to use of the inhibitor chips on the Wookiees, any story thread tying Clone Force 99 to Kashyyyk is sure to contain some kind of dark twist. Given the track record of the final seasons of the Clone Wars and the risks of the writers have proven they're willing to take the Bad Batch itself and the animated series final season, it could very well be the darkest yet with stories like this left to tell. And this is a story that I would definitely love to see play out and go one last time to see what ends up happening to Gunji 2 to see if he ends up still being alive after everything that has gone down during this timeline so far. For more Star Wars content like this, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know. Make sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about today's video. Dive deep in it, and I'll catch you guys there later today in the comment section. Don't forget, I also have a live stream later tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, and we'll talk about everything Star Wars from this week. Later, guys.